Hi, my name is Mike Clark, and today we're going to take a look at how to personalize medallions using Trotex Trolay's Lights material. So as you can see, I've set my artwork up here. We've got our black text and our black logo here, and then we're going to have a red cut line. We're going to be using this medallion from Freeman CMA. The diameter of the actual circle here is just a little under two inches, so my circle's basically a little under two inches, and my text is inside the circle. The one thing I've done is, is I'm going to turn my air assist off. I've got a Z offset of uh, 0.05. I want to always engrave plastic a little out of focus. And my cut power and speed are 15 and 2. The reason I'm not, what I want to do with this is material is when I cut, I don't want to go all the way through on my cut because it's a lot easier for me to peel the material right off the backing. If I go all the way through, then basically what's going to happen is then I'm going to have to try to peel the backing off the, off the, the mylar and it takes a lot longer to do that. The one nice thing about this type of material is that typically, traditionally we would have to do one medallion at a time when we were personalizing it on a rotary engraving machine or we'd have to pr reproduce sublimation discs. The nice thing about the Trollay's light material is that I can take a 12 by 24 piece of material as I have on the page here and I can duplicate that image across the page and I can cut out a whole bunch of medallion inserts all at once. This allows me to fill up the whole 12 by 24 and then peel off each sticker and place it on the back of the medallion. The one thing that's very important when you're working with this material is that it has to be perfectly flat and you don't want any bows in the material. It's always a good idea to tape down the edges and maybe even put a weight in the middle just to make sure that the material doesn't bow up on you very susceptible to being out of focus. All I need to do is peel back the material. Notice how it's coming off the backing paper. Now I have my actual sticker and I just need to go over to my medallion, make sure I'm centered on my material and then there we go. Here we have another uh, sculptured metal. This is basically just a stock metal with a sculptured image on the front. And all we really need to do on this is put a name and a date on the back. We're going to use the same Trollay's light material to create our personalization. So all we need to do is peel back our piece and see that it just separates off the backing. Then I'm going to take my piece and I'm just going to basically just stick it right on the on the medallion. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment field below.